Why does ditching the dollar solve all economic problems? And what if a bunch of countries suddenly decide to stop using the US dollar? If removing the dollar fixes everything, then maybe the dollar itself is the real problem. Now, BRICS nations and 10 ASEAN nations want to use their currencies instead of the US dollar. This change will affect the US economy, considering these 10 nations have a GDP of $4 trillion. But why are they doing this? Did something the US did make them want to switch? Let's find out. In a move that can reshape the global economic landscape, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN is considering a shift away from the US dollar in favor of local currencies for trade. This initiative involving the 10 ASEAN member countries, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, aims to reduce reliance on the US dollar for cross-border transactions. The implications of this shift are profound, given ASEAN's combined GDP of approximately $4 trillion. Under President Joko Widodo's leadership, Indonesia is at the forefront of this de-dollarization effort. By promoting the use of local currencies, ASEAN countries hope to bolster their economies, enhance the value of their currencies in the global market, and reduce vulnerability to external economic pressures. ASEAN's move is more than a regional strategy. It is a critical step that signals a potential shift in global economic dynamics. Let's discuss it in depth to see how it impacts global economic dynamics. So, why is ASEAN considering a shift away from the US dollar? ASEAN has long been an important economic bloc known for its diverse and dynamic economies. The region has historically relied heavily on the US dollar for cross-border transactions, a practice that has ensured stability but also brought about significant dependencies and vulnerabilities. Recent global economic trends and geopolitical shifts have prompted ASEAN leaders to reconsider this reliance and explore alternative strategies to strengthen their economic sovereignty. The initiative to promote local currencies for trade is rooted in several key motivations. Firstly, its economic independence. Reducing reliance on the US dollar allows ASEAN countries to gain greater control over their economic policies and reduce exposure to external economic shocks, such as fluctuations in the US economy or changes in US monetary policy. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. By using local currencies, ASEAN countries can also enhance financial stability within the region. This is particularly important for mitigating the risks associated with currency volatility and ensuring smoother trade and investment flows. Promoting the use of local currencies can also help boost their value and stability in the global foreign exchange markets. This, in turn, can enhance investor confidence and attract more foreign investment into the region. And how would local currencies be promoted? Several mechanisms are being considered and implemented to facilitate the use of local currencies for trade within ASEAN. First is bilateral currency swap agreements. These agreements allow countries to exchange currencies without using the US dollar as an intermediary. This can help stabilize exchange rates and provide liquidity support during financial stress. Then comes regional payment systems. Developing and enhancing regional payment systems can facilitate easier and more efficient cross-border transactions using local currencies. Such systems reduce the need for currency conversions and associated costs. Trade agreements are also important. Incorporating provisions for local currency usage in trade agreements can encourage businesses to invoice and settle transactions in local currencies. This can gradually shift the trade dynamics away from the US dollar. Also, central banks in ASEAN countries are working closely to align monetary policies and create a conducive environment for the use of local currencies. This includes harmonizing regulations and providing necessary infrastructure support. And what are the potential benefits of doing this? The ASEAN initiative to promote local currencies for trade is expected to yield several significant benefits. By diminishing reliance on the US dollar, the ASEAN nations pave the way for sturdier economic foundations capable of withstanding the tumultuous global financial turmoil and geopolitical unrest.
In times of fiscal crisis or geopolitical tensions, such as trade disputes or sanctions, this diversification shields their economies from the brunt of external shocks, offering a buffer against instability. Moreover, adopting local currencies facilitates a seamless trade landscape within ASEAN, fostering enhanced border efficiency. By eliminating the necessity for cumbersome currency conversions, businesses can easily navigate transactions, cutting down on time and expenses associated with international trade. This streamlined process bolsters the competitiveness of ASEAN economies in the global marketplace and encourages increased intra-regional trade, driving economic growth and prosperity. Furthermore, the proliferation of local currencies empowers ASEAN nations with heightened autonomy in shaping their monetary policies. With a reduced dependency on external monetary mechanisms, such as pegging currencies to the US dollar, member states gain greater latitude in managing domestic economic challenges. This newfound flexibility equips policymakers with more effective tools to tackle issues like inflation control and exchange rate stability and foster sustainable economic expansion, thereby fortifying the region against economic volatility. The initiative propels ASEAN towards deeper regional integration while bolstering economic resilience and trade efficiency. By fostering collaboration on financial and economic policies, member states cultivate stronger bonds and a shared vision for prosperity. This convergence of interests strengthens the fabric of ASEAN. It lays the groundwork for a more cohesive and unified economic bloc, amplifying the region's collective voice and influence on the global stage. Economic impact is the main cause of this decision, so what's the overall economic impact? The ASEAN initiative to reduce reliance on the US dollar by promoting the use of local currencies for trade is poised to create a profound economic impact on the region and beyond. With a combined GDP of approximately $4 trillion, the 10 ASEAN member countries, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam are a formidable economic bloc. This move toward de-dollarization aims to foster greater economic stability, increase regional financial autonomy, and reshape global trade dynamics. One of the primary motivations behind this initiative is to enhance regional economic stability. By reducing dependency on the US dollar, ASEAN countries can mitigate the risks associated with fluctuations in the dollar's value, often influenced by factors beyond their control. When used in regional trade, local currencies can buffer against external economic shocks, such as sudden changes in US monetary policy or geopolitical tensions that impact the dollar's value. For instance, countries heavily reliant on the dollar during U.S. economic turbulence can experience significant volatility in their economies. Asian nations can shield themselves from such volatility by promoting local currencies, leading to more predictable and stable economic environments. This stability is crucial for attracting foreign investment and fostering long-term economic growth. Promoting the use of local currencies in trade transactions can also strengthen these currencies in global foreign exchange markets. Increased demand for local currencies will naturally boost their value and stability. This, in turn, enhances investor confidence and can attract more foreign direct investment FDI into the region. Investors are more likely to commit capital to economies with stable and strong currencies, as these conditions reduce the risk of currency depreciation and associated losses. One practical benefit of using local currencies for trade is reducing transaction costs. Currently, many cross-border transactions within ASEAN involve converting local currencies to US dollars and then returning them to the local currency of the trading partner. This double conversion incurs additional costs, including exchange rate fees and the risk of unfavorable exchange rate movements. By using local currencies directly, ASEAN countries can eliminate these intermediary steps, reducing transaction costs. Lower transaction costs can make trade more efficient and profitable for businesses, encouraging greater intra-regional trade. This efficiency can lead to more competitive pricing of goods and services, benefiting consumers and businesses. The initiative to promote local currencies is also expected to strengthen regional trade ties within ASEAN.
ASEAN countries can increase their trade volumes by facilitating easier and more cost-effective cross-border transactions. This intra-regional trade growth can reduce reliance on external markets, creating a more self-sufficient regional economy. Stronger regional trade ties can also lead to greater economic integration as countries collaborate on various economic policies and initiatives. This integration can enhance collective bargaining power in international trade negotiations, giving ASEAN a more influential voice on the global stage. Another significant advantage of reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar is mitigating risks associated with U.S. economic policies. The U.S. dollar's dominance means that changes in U.S. monetary policy, such as interest rate adjustments by the Federal Reserve, can have widespread implications for the global economy. Countries heavily reliant on the dollar are particularly vulnerable to these changes, which can lead to capital outflows, inflationary pressures, and financial instability. Using local currencies, ASEAN countries can insulate themselves from some of the adverse effects of U.S. economic policies. This autonomy allows them to implement monetary and fiscal policies better suited to their specific economic conditions, thereby enhancing overall economic management. What else made it so important for the 10 countries to move away from the dollar? The rising U.S. debt, currently at $34.4 trillion, is another factor driving the ASEAN initiative. High levels of debt raise concerns about the long-term stability of the U.S. dollar. Developing countries, including those in ASEAN, are increasingly wary of the potential risks of holding large reserves of a currency backed by such significant debt. Relying less on dollars was the only answer. Apart from this, the ASEAN initiative to promote local currencies is more than just a regional strategy. It has the potential to influence global economic patterns. As other regions and countries observe ASEAN's progress, they may be inspired to undertake similar initiatives. This could lead to a gradual but significant shift in the global economic order, reducing the U.S. dollar's dominance and fostering a more balanced and diversified international monetary system. In the long term, this could lead to the emergence of multiple strong regional currencies, each playing a significant role in global trade and finance. Such a development would enhance global financial stability by reducing the systemic risks of reliance on a single dominant currency. Do you think ASEAN took the right step to solve the issues it currently faces? How do you see this approach? Let us know in the comments section. If the solution to all economic problems is de-dollarization, then was the dollar the actual problem? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.